8 a.m. on the nose, on the button. Uh, I am 0 for 4, I think, this week so far. Uh, welcome to Art Talk. This is episode number 17. Who do we got coming in? Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Give it a couple of seconds. Uh, I am in Malibu, California. My name is Fireball, and this is Art Talk at 8 a.m. We are live on Facebook Live. Let's see what's going on. Uh, Cindy, good morning. You're the first one in. Brenda, good morning. Uh, Brenda, where are you from today? I'm in Malibu. It's a little bit overcast. Good morning, Thomas Minton. How are you? Uh, good, good job. Good start today. Very exciting. Um, got a good, good subject for today. Got some things going on. Um, it's a little bit uh, silvery out. Uh, Doug Harrison, good morning. Where are you guys located? Leave a little post. Let me know. We're going to let people file in a little bit. Uh, our talk has been doing pretty well. Kind of surprised, especially on Before It's News. It got picked up by Before It's News. So uh, we got some more viewers, and uh, it gets um, put onto YouTube after this. So you guys, if you miss this or if you can't stay for the whole time, you can go back and you can watch it on YouTube. It gets posted by the end of the day around 4 or 5.30 in the afternoon, Pacific Standard Time. Jason, good morning. Let me know where you're from. Uh, super cool hanging out with us today. Let me adjust this here a little bit. Okay. Uh, this is Art Talk, episode number 17. We are uh, uh, filing through the weeks here, uh, trying to give you guys some some uh, some juice, some energy, some focus for uh, uh, enhancing your creative prowess in this world. Uh, we are creative beings, and that's what we want to do. We want to get out there, and we want to make today a... Uh, uh, a commitment, a commitment tor towards uh, gaining success, and uh, uh, I'm going to talk about some things today that are going to help you to do that. Okay, um, uh, it is live, as a reminder. Uh, Brandon, good morning. Uh, it is live, so you can ask me questions if you have a, a comment about uh, something that I'm saying here or something that we're talking about. You can interact with each other. I want you guys to do that. I want you guys to get together and formulate plans and work together, do some great stuff. Uh, good morning, Jay. Let me know where you guys are, are calling in from or even watching from. That's an eyeball thing. Uh, my uh, my birthday is coming up. Kind of cool. My birthday is coming up. My brother sent me this. Yep, isn't that cool? Little uh, Starsky and Hutch pin. Very cool. Uh, he comes on the uh, Art Talk from time to time. I know it's backwards, but this says distinguished. Not bad. That's the card. It's a tin. Very cool. Uh, April 3rd is my birthday. Anybody else have a birthday around uh, April? It's an Aries, Aries thing. Uh, it's the red hair thing, although it's kind of getting silvery. Uh, Scott Deacon, Jerry Crocker, thanks for joining us today. Okay. Uh, as a heads up, before we get started on to say today's subject, uh, you guys know that I'm driving the um, uh, the 2019 Corvette, the Z06, uh, driving for uh, this past week. We'll be having some vlogs that are coming up. We have a vlog that's coming up tomorrow that is on wheels and waves, a little bit of the caddy, and then the next episode will go full bore into sorry into the into the Corvette. The reason I mentioned the caddy is that we have the CT6 showing up today, being swapped for that. Uh, Rick White says, "Hey, Fireball from Ventura." Very cool. Ventura is uh, uh, kind of my old stomping grounds. Grew up in Ojai. Super cool. Um, the Porsche book is coming along. You guys know that the Porsche book is happening. I'm going to show you a sketch of a 928. All right. That's what's happening there. Okay. More Porsche stuff. Uh, searching for that final date of April 1st. Not sure I'm going to hit it. I'm going to do the best I can. Um, if you're a first-time watcher here on Art Talk, uh, as a reminder, it does get uploaded to YouTube if you can't stay for the whole time. If you got to get busy, got to go take a shower, got to go to work, got to do something, put some stuff together. Uh, but be sure to share it if you're getting something of value out of these Art Talks where we can sit down, have some coffee, talk about uh, how we can improve our lives together as a team, then let's do that. Uh, uh, and if there's someone out there that you think this might help, let them know. Okay. Today's subject that we're going to focus on is the value of persistence. Now, that, that's kind of a buzzword, and that's something that, uh, that most people uh, kind of understand from the, the, the superficial level, is that it's important to be persistent, you know, uh, if you want things in this life. And uh, that's true. That's true. Uh, not a hard concept to understand, uh, but it's something that if we dive down a little bit deeper into what uh, the true meaning, the, the guts of persistence is about, uh, why it's important to have that, uh, I think that'll be of value for you guys today. 
And uh, the first aspect, I, I think there's four different aspects, at least for me, that that are components of persistence and uh, and why that's important. And I think that we we don't necessarily address the whys a lot in in things. You know, we know that we that we want to make money. We know that we want to uh, improve our lives creatively. We know that we want to have a passion project. Uh, we know that we want to do what we love. But we have to ask ourselves why. You know, the importance, uh, the the value of why is what motivates us, is what keeps us going. So the first one is belief. And now belief is an important thing that it's very hard to have persistence in something that you don't have a strong belief in. So it, it really helps to have a strong belief in something. And in order to have a strong belief, we go into another step deeper than that, is that, is that you've got to determine whether it has longevity. Is this something that you could do the rest of your life? Is this something that you would want to do the rest of your life? Is this something you'd want to do to jump out of bed in the morning and really get into? And, uh, and when you have a strong belief in something, uh, uh, whether it's a cause or whether it's a passion project, whether it's uh, you know, the idea of wanting to retire uh, and move on, uh, there's a big challenge with a lot of people that get to that certain age where they want to retire, um, whether they can or they can't. Uh, they have to kind of get through that thing. But if they do, then they have to focus. They have to figure out what it is that they want to do when they retire. What, how do they want to incorporate some of the things that they love uh, into that? And that's what we focus on on the vlog and here on Art Talk. But uh, understanding that something has longevity, understanding that something has uh, legs to it, that you could see yourself doing it in 10 or 20 years, 30 years, uh, the rest of your life, uh, that's a strong belief system. You know, I, I love... Uh, illustrating, I love creating projects, I love cars, uh, all those things are something that have tremendous longevity for me. And uh, and I'm going to be doing those things. It's not a matter whether I can or not. Oh, it's just happening. It's just happening. So you have to be that that committed towards something to know it's got longevity in order to make your, your way back to belief, to have a strong belief, in order to be persistent. Okay, and persistent is the focus of today. Uh, the value of persistence. The second aspect of this, uh, good morning, Mike Schaefer's and Thomas C's. Very cool, guys. Thanks for joining us. Let me know where you're, you're, um, you're coming in from. Michael Tatro, yes, very cool. Uh, where are you guys located? Yeah, somewhere on this sphere, on this globe. The second aspect uh, is about focus. And uh, focus uh, certainly is important uh, from a superficial level, is that you, you do want to focus and you can focus on those things that you, that you like doing. Um, and it's easier to be persistent when you have a strong belief and you can focus. Um, but focus is a muscle. It's like, uh, uh, we mentioned this previously on a, on a previous art talk, is that if you go to the gym and you go for the first time and you haven't been before, uh, at the end of the hour that you work out, you're super sore, uh, uh, Michael's in Fair Oaks. Very cool. All right. Excellent. California. Um, if you go to the gym and you're, you're super sore, you, you, you know, you didn't necessarily have a good time. You're exhausted. Uh, but if you work that muscle, uh, those series of muscles and you keep going back and you're persistent, then your body starts to change and you start to feel better. And all these benefits come from that. So, uh, focus us uh, is basically strengthening that muscle is that the more you practice focus, the more you maintain focus, as you're doing something, the, the stronger your focus becomes and the, the, the longevity is there. The more that you can, you can maintain focus so for longer periods of time and get more done. And ultimately, uh, uh, that persistence is easier to do, okay? The third aspect of uh, the value of persistence is, um, is faith in the unknown. Is, uh, do you guys really believe, do you, do you guys know that, that this, this can come to fruition if, if there's something that you want to take on, whether you want to build a house or build an outhouse or something simple. Uh, Mike Schaefer says, I'm retired and love drawing. I do cartoons, cars, and love hot rods. You're in Santa Ana. Very cool. Um, you know, th that, Mike, is, is very, it's very important to do to be able to follow through the, with what you love. And naturally, the more that you do that, the more that you focus on that, a way is going to be made for you to be able to share those. And you can share those with other people via Instagram or Facebook, things like that. But you never know. There might be a book in your future. There might be a, a way to share it in, in a way that creates an income stream for you that enhances your life in some way. Uh, it could be prints. It could be posters. There are infinite ways. And instead of trying to, to work that out, all you have to do is just keep drawing. Just keep doing what it is that you love. And naturally, ways will reveal themselves. And as an example, uh, when I... Um, 
was working in the movies and doing uh, movie cars and things like that. I started to segue out of that because I was, I was kind of repetitive. I had done about 400 films and I wanted to get into something that could give back more than just designing a vehicle for a movie. And uh, the more that I, I drew, the more that I, I uh, put out that love of being able to do that kind of stuff, the more opportunities uh, came to me to be able to to uh, come to fruition. So that's how our book business came. That's how our coloring books evolved, Fireball Publishing. Uh, that's how the, the Murphy Museum came to where I'm now the curator for the, the artists at the Murphy. And uh, you never know. Uh, uh, Mike, you might have... Uh, um, uh, your art might end up in a museum somewhere. You never know, uh, or a gallery. Uh, all those things are possible. And it comes down to your faith in your ability to, to maintain that. So faith, of course, is the evidence of things not seen. So if you can have faith in something that you can't see, in a vision, in your mind, then that's a very strong faith, and that's a, a strong belief, and that leads, uh, once again, makes persistence easy. Okay? So that's the third one. Um... I don't have my glasses on. Where's my glasses? There they are. Uh, the, the fourth and final one, um, this is um, a success in the imminent. Is It, it seems like that, and what I mean by that is, uh, sure, you, you have to have a strong belief, you have to have a strong faith, but you have to understand uh, what the goal is, is that you don't want an open-ended goal and just keep repeating the same thing over and over again. You want something to shoot for. So you want to be able to say that if I do this thing, if it, if it lands in this spot, then it's successful to me. And that could be uh, in a sketch. You know, something as small as uh, success for me is finishing one sketch a day. Uh, success for me is uh, assembling those five sketches into a, um, uh, into a project or somehow. Or, you know, for us, success uh, is not necessarily a book selling well. It's uh, success is a book that is fulfilling for people, is that people can, can buy one of these books and um, and it brings them joy. Uh, it, our books are unique in the sense that uh, someone buys them and then they give them as a gift. Uh, sometimes they color in in them themselves, but a lot many times, you know, uh, uh, grandparents or parents buy the books and they end up um, uh, as great gifts. You know, we're solving a problem for them to be able to have a gift to give to kids or grandkids, and. That's very fulfilling to us, and it's also fulfilling to know that these books benefit um, uh, charities in a variety of ways. So that, that system that, that we have built is not necessarily something that we set out to build. It's done, it naturally evolved. So success was imminent, and success happens on a daily basis. And if I can look at today as uh, um, if I can solve a few problems, if I can, if I can hit some of the goals that I have, then today can be a success. This art talk can be a success just by being able to complete it and giving you guys something of value, okay? So those, once again, as a recap, those are the four aspects of the value of persistence. We're talking belief, focus, faith, and a, a clear vision, a clear vision on that success is imminent, okay? So does that make sense? Is that helpful? I hope it is. Uh, certainly was helpful to me when I learned this stuff. Um, um, and then two things I want you, I want you to work on today. Uh, one thing is that um, I had a really great meeting with a friend yesterday, and he gave me a, a good shot in the arm. Uh, I really value my friends, and I have some friends that are um, incredibly wealthy, uh, incredibly uh, perceptive, uh, tremendously valuable in certain areas. Anybody who believes that that someone who has a lot of money is an a-hole, um, that's, that's something that you should retrain because it's not true because there's many, many a-holes that live in, in trailers and live in, in, in the middle of nowhere. So, you know, there's a lot of people that don't have any money that are not, not necessarily good people. But you want to focus, you want to surround yourself with people that are strong. And you want to make sure that if you're going to give somebody an idea and, and run something past somebody, you want to make sure that that person's got your back. Okay, you don't want to go to your your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister if you you think that they're going to judge you. Okay, you want to avoid those situations, and that's a choice. Uh, lots of times we go and we try to get um, approvals from these people, and you know very well that you're not going to be getting those. That's not how it works. So you want to be able to ask people that you have tremendous respect for that have an idea, someone that has your back that's going to keep things positive and it's going to push you forward. Okay, that's the first thing I want you to think about today. And then the, the second thing is how important it is to be humble and, and not uh, let your head expand and grow in the wrong direction. 
get rid of that. Uh, Jeremy Glazed, uh, James Dilliot, thanks for joining us today. Robert Smith, thanks, guys. Uh, I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with us today. Um, so, you know, keep things humble. Um, uh, just make sure that as you peruse today, uh, I guess the, the, the more I know, the more I realize I don't know. And that's words that I've tried to live by. Uh, always try to learn. Always try to keep things, uh, keep your feet on the ground and just have a great day. Okay? That's all I got for you today. This is episode 17. Once again, uh, this is Art Talk. I am Fireball. And if you missed any of this, uh, it's going to be uploaded on YouTube by the end of the, of the day today. We are doing this at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every weekday morning. Uh, thanks, um, and uh, uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys very much. Uh, the more gratitude that we can interject into this life, the more uh, the life evolves into exactly what it is that we love. Okay? So I love you guys. I appreciate your time, and uh, go get them. Get out there. Go out and make the day, uh, and uh, uh, just have fun. Okay? We'll talk to you guys tomorrow.